Okay, so we're going to work in the cam the, the the file we had before. Got a little dummy object, our plane connected to a path constraint going around this path. Next, we're going to add a a target camera, and make sure that your target camera is in a good organized layer. Choose the target element of the camera, and we are going to align it to the dummy object that we created earlier. So align it to the dummy object, choose X position, Y position, Z position, center and center, say OK. And then we're also going to add a link constraint. And I'm just going to hit H and choose dummy from the selection list. Now that should be pretty fast. Camera target's doing what we want it to do. Good. <clears throat> okay, so the camera's doing, the camera target is following it, but the camera position now needs thinking about. So um, I want to just be conscious of where the audio file is suggesting the plane is overhead. So let me think about this. somewhere around about 80 and 90. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the camera, I'm gonna reposition it to about there. So it's pretty much at 80, it's pretty much on track. I'm gonna look at the, I'm gonna use my other viewports like, so I've got the top, up the front, my left, hit Z in each one just to center things out. Look at my camera again. I'm just gonna drop it down a little bit in this viewport. So it's slightly underneath, change this to my camera one. And I should now see the plane coming overhead. So. Yeah, that's working nicely. Okay, um, and the position of that camera is very much your own decision. How you want it to relate to the sound, I'd say at 80, it's, I'll just go back into my top view here, at 80, I would say that the camera is more or less in the right position. I could perhaps just tweak it ever so slightly and say at maybe about there. Yeah, okay, that'll do. So let's have a quick look. Actually, looking at that, looking at that, I'm thinking possibly a little bit further that way, just about there, and possibly a little bit higher up as well. So let's see the effect of that on the camera. So as it comes around. Feels about right. Okay, fair enough. Next thing is, let's go back to our top view. Let's add another camera. And this one, we can just make this a free camera. And the free camera is, oh, let's do that in the front view so that the free camera is looking that way. And then when I go to the top of my view, that's fine. And the free camera needs to be once again aligned to the dummy. So let's align that to that dummy object, X, Y, and Z. Um, orientation, I believe the orientation is on the X axis, but it's the wrong way around. So I'll have to flip that in a second. So let's just rotate that. Okay, now let's have a look at this in the front view. How's the orientation? I think it just needs squaring up a little bit. Actually, no, leave the or leave that, that's good. Um, 
Okay, let's just see what it's seeing. Camera two is now seeing right inside the plane. That's interesting. And so if I just move, I'm just going to move that over to there. Um, which I'm going to stand the jade. Turn the wireframe off. Okay, I can see that the camera is right inside the fuselage of the plane, which is not where I want it to be. So taking my camera two and making sure it's in the right camera layer, which I'll just move it down there. He says with no effect. There we go. Take the camera two and let's now we've aligned it. Let's just move it backwards so it's just behind the plane. And you know what? I think I want it just slightly above the plane. And I want to just give it a little tiny rotation downwards. Like that. Just enough. And then I'm going to link it like we did before. So constraint, link constraint. And I'm going to link it to hit H. I'm going to link it again to the dummy object. Okay, it should now fly around. Yeah, basically it's going to follow the dummy object. So we now potentially have two camera options. We've got camera one. We've got camera two. Okay, great stuff. In the next, um, in the next video, we'll look at exporting both of these camera options out as uh, TIFF sequences or JPEG sequences, actually, as JPEG sequences that we can then composite in Premiere. Okay.